water and two rats fucking in a wool Is that is your that best? Close? Is that close? Nah, that was more, more Cockney English. Cockney, all right. I, 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 yeah, I've been in the UK a little bit more than I... Well, Lars, uh, uh, thank you very much for joining us here from Nonpoint Soundwave yes. in Sydney. We were just saying how hot it is here. I'm it's, melting. It's just awful. I'm literally hot. melting away. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a bit rough today, but we'll get through it okay, I think. Yes, yes, we will. Um, now, congrats on the return. This is a solid, crunching album. I've really enjoyed thank you, it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, that was one that got added to the playlist almost instantaneously. Oh, so. sweet, sweet. Um, do you still get nervous, though, when you... You know, when you when you drop those new songs on fans, uh, I think at this point the nerves have kind of gone away. It's really, um, you know, you can't you can't base your success on 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 the uh, the opinion. Mm. You got to be proud of it yourself, I think. Yeah. And then from there, as long as you're, you know, you're proud of it and you stick stick behind it, um, you know, if the fans dig it, they're they're gonna get behind it too. So we we, we uh we try to make ourselves happy first and hope for the best. How's the reaction been here? It's insane, yeah, yeah, yeah. They know, they definitely know the new stuff, uh, which is great. Uh, you know, that's the biggest, you know, uh, hurdle. So I think for a singer as well, it must be that buzz when people you look out and people are, are singing back to you, especially on the other side of the planet. It's 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 uh, it definitely makes for a, uh, a great, great show. You've been doing this a long, long time now. Uh, 15 in years. Yeah, so yeah, congratulations on that. Thank but, you, thank uh, you. What have you seen change, do you think, and over that time? Has it been the, the scene? Have festivals changed? Have the fans changed? Um, everything kind of has changed. Uh, the, it's, the way we get music really has, has mm. changed a lot of things. Um, has that been a good or a bad thing, do you think? Uh, for ticket sales, I, I think it's been kind of bad because, mm. you know, you can choose to see a live show online mm. you know as opposed to you know way back in the day when Mudbane used to refuse to let people videotape the show now I see why because mm. you know if you want to see the show you, you had to come out and see the show mm. uh, but uh, you know m more so in the past in, in the last 15 years really the way people get music and and um, the value that they hold to the actual show itself is really what's changed the most for me I don't know maybe I'm a bit old school but I love having something to hold in my hand I love something tangible to flip through the booklet oh yeah me too me the too. gatefold and I don't know the kids today they don't, they don't really care about that which no. is a bit of a shame they miss it but you know what uh, last year uh, there were more vinyl sales than CD sales so hopefully that artwork is uh, is coming back which is cool because then it gives you a whole new scope yeah and there was to get to I'm get sure, bigger yeah I'm we're sure going back we're going back it's okay yeah, yeah I'm it's sure okay. you're the same as me you used to sit there and just look and study covers at reading all the thank yous yeah was, was, was a big deal yeah. you know seeing a name in this you know CD cover that you saw and one that you bought a couple months ago is always cool too like who is that guy you know that exactly that kind of thing so we're we're um you know we we we're missing it too. We, yeah. we take a lot of pride in our artwork, and even even the next record is, is the last record that we did. We designed the cover ourselves. Nice. Yeah. Now, do you prefer these big festivals, or do you like a club gig? Um, it it really depends on the city. You know, mm. some cities are are better served in the club. Um, you know, down in 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 the states, you know, Hartford, Connecticut. You know, we play the club there, and that's it's 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 ridiculous or but you know places like madison wisconsin it's it's the festival show because yeah you know they you know there's there's fifteen thousand people there to see us which is great that know? is very very cool yeah. where haven't you played that you'd like to get along to like country wise i mean you, uh you've new been zealand on. japan right. uh new zealand japan and the middle east we want to get to um you know we got a lot of soldiers and stuff over there and you know with our song bullet with a name and front mm -hmm. lines and stuff like that we, we get a lot of requests so you know just because of the requests have been coming a lot from there um get back to the uk we definitely want to get mm -hmm. back there but um I places like, that i've never been before definitely japan and, yeah. and new zealand i like that because they're not too far from australia which means you could almost do this yes <laughs> specific tour we're looking we're looking for that we're actually looking for that uh before the end of the year especially oh. after the reaction on, on this one that'd be fantastic to see now being inside the machine that is rock and metal have you noticed has it ebbed and flowed from your personal view because for me it kind of feels like it's going through a resurgence and i don't know if that's actually true but it seems that way um i think it, it for certain bands it definitely is mm. um you know people are going old school again and uh it's one of the reasons i think that we're back you know uh, a part of this uh a part of the festival and um we're doing the best numbers that we've done in years and uh you know our highest charting signal single to date you know, our last three songs have all all charted higher than the one before. So, mm. um, 
you know, it, it, there's there's definitely something going on. That's good. That's good to hear because speaking to the guys from Exodus, and they kind of said, you know, a few years ago they were doing tiny rooms and tiny things and now they're starting to go through that resurgence as well yeah so yeah yeah uh, maybe people are realizing I, that the older stuff is better than the newer yeah, stuff. yeah that and i think rock fans are, are are sick of watching crappy bands play live and mm. you know when aj puts on festivals like this that have actually energetic great bands you know you know the guys are a, a, a fucking genius for putting this thing on for us so you know uh, a lot of a lot of kudos to him yeah yeah for sure you've always been a fairly prolific band as far as songwriting and releasing albums go it's like every couple of years or so yeah at least. is that something that you try to aim for or is it more when the music happens and, the, and you've got the time it just how happens it's every couple of years you know to be honest with you we're gonna write music until people stop asking us to make records and you know we keep getting deals and keep getting you know the requests hey we need another record we need another record so so we're we're uh you know, we're going to go until the wheels fall off. That's that's what excellent. And then when they do, you just go to something else. Exactly. Then I'll be Steven Tyler and I'll just <laughs> hop on one foot. <laughs> <laughs> what made you want to be a singer in a band all those years ago? How did it come to be? Um, I think it, it was really luck. It was luck. Um, I was hanging out in the scene. I had just come, moved from Tampa back to South Florida. Uh, and, you know, one thing led to another. I was waiting tables at a restaurant. Uh, and a friend of mine was a bass player in a band called Nonpoint Factor. Mm -hmm. And they were having issues with their singer. And uh, he hadn't been to practice in a couple months. <laughs> and they were like, hey, man, you want to come jam with us? We heard you singing Happy Birthday at the restaurant. Feel like you got a good that voice. That was your audition. I swear to God. So uh, uh, one of the boys pulled me to, to the rehearsal. I, you know, Rob was happy to be on the drums. He looked over at me and goes, so you're going to pick up... The you gonna pick up the mic and start singing or what? <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I guess so. So I picked up the mic and they started playing. I started, you know, doing something over top of it. And he stopped playing. He was like, you're in the band. And that was it. Simple as that. Just like that. And it's been a beautiful relationship ever since. 15 years. Love it. <laughs> yeah. uh, where to after here? You got a, you got some summer dates to do. Are you doing the summer festivals through Europe? A lot Europe? of touring. We're going, uh, doing uh, 36 Crazy Fists and uh, this band called Scare No Fear, which is amazing. Right. Uh, in the States, we're doing six weeks with them. Uh, then we're doing another f uh, five weeks with Otherwise in the States, um, doing all the festival summer tours. Uh, we're doing Rocklahoma, Rock on the Range. Great. Uh, uh, Carolina Rebellion. There's one in, I want to say Kingfest in Maine. It's just a bunch, a bunch of festivals in the States right now. So That's very we're, cool. we're lined up for all of them. Nice. Have you had a chance to see, I know it's very busy with, travel for the festival like this but do you get a chance to see any other bands exodus oh nice. amazing yeah. yesterday they just I, I literally saw heads <laughs> flying in the pit <laughs> phenomenal <laughs> phenomenal band uh the guys in uh cold rain mm. from japan yeah wow yeah blown I think away shocked a lot of people oh my god blown away blown away um uh I saw the guys, our friends at Papa Roach, love those boys, uh, becoming good friends with the boys in Godsmack. Great. I've known Shannon for years, but, um, you know, it's, it's good to share stage with them and, uh, you know, good to see their crew again. I, I know a lot of their crew from, from many, many years of, you know, going from Seven Dust to Fuel or mm -hmm. going to all these bands. So we run into each other a lot. So I've seen, seen, seen quite a few bands. So it's not only, you know, a great tour to be on, but, you know, when you get to hang out with your mates. Yeah, man. Exodus ruled it yesterday. I just want to say they, they fucking destroyed the stage yesterday. It was great. I caught him in Melbourne, and yeah, I, I wholeheartedly agree. Man, it was it was so good to see those boys back. It's uh, you know watching uh, Steve run around and squeak and scream. Like yeah, he does man, and is, he uh, is probably the friendliest front man I've ever met yeah. in my life. One of the sweetest, most down to earth guys. I just I, I hope we do more dates with those guys. Oh man, well thank you very much for spending a little bit of your time with me. Hey, today, anytime, man. anytime. Keep your computer cool. I will. <laughs>